Good. Yeah, I'd leave that one on. You want this one instead? Yeah. Okay. Trade. Trade. Let's trade. Okay, here. Oh, that's a good one. Good one. The good one. <laughs> Oh, it's a big one. You're so lucky. Bummer. Bummer. That might be it. Bummer. Bummer. Hey, buddy. Mm. You want to play? Oh. Mm -hmm. You want to sing along? Do you want do you want your Diggies or diggy do pants? Or do you want your shorts? Diggies. Diggies, yeah. okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Let's put your shirt on real quick. Oh. Yeah, then we're just it's gonna okay. no tip. Walk, walk. We like to walk. Walk, talk. We like to talk. Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown, Mr. Brown is upside down. What? What's that? Red bed. I'm in a bed. Red, Ned, Ted, and Ed in a bed. Okay. Now it's time to go to bed and close your little eyes. Thank <laughs> you. 
play, I was trying to work on a song the other day, and he just kept coming up and putting his hands on the strings, like, no, daddy, <laughs> no, daddy, down, daddy, which down just means get up and play with me. And at one point, I just like, I was like, honey. And he looks at me and goes, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, you win this one. I put my guitar down. Play but no, he does, he does, he doesn't, <laughs> he also mimics me singing a lot. Oh my God, like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like the long brooding song. Although I have to say, like, he does like the songs, like, on a speaker. He does like that. And Very he, like, focused. dances and stuff. He just stuff. doesn't like hearing you write it. Yeah. He's bored. Which he's bored. he just he like, wants us to play. I, I, I've always play. been the musician. I can't believe my parents let me like play drums and guitar like super loud in the house all the time. I don't know how you can stand hearing the same like ten seconds of a song over and over and over again as I like try and perfect it for like. It's never been that bad. Yeah, I don't. I don't. You do have a gorgeous voice, so <clears throat> <laughs> let's just say. It. But. <laughs> 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 I don't have to hear it uh, like 10 seconds over and over, but... Are you finding time and space to write much? Um, so about a year and a half ago, I wasn't working for like four or six weeks. During that time, I started enough ideas that since then, the only time I've really been able to find for music is when we're in bed, or like you're sleeping and I'm in bed mm -hmm. and I have headphones in. And I'm just working on writing words for all of those like ideas. Yeah. I'm, like trying to like concept things and totally. I haven't had much other uh, much other time for stuff yeah. like that. I think it's okay. So I like I have this like kind of not theory because it's not a theory, but I have this feeling that like it's okay to have a moment to just reset or just to like be like ground yourself again because like I think it is a big change you weren't a parent before and now you are and you can enjoy that moment and then it doesn't mean you're not a musician or you're not a dancer it just it's okay I think it's okay that's what I've been telling myself because I know it was harder for you a little bit but I, I've been telling myself it's okay it doesn't mean anything other than like I'm just letting it happen and then I will do it again yeah and do when I want to do it I will do it is there something in your life telling you it's not okay? <laughs> um, I don't know. I have a little guilt here and there. Um, Jacob's been doing more, and there's the guilt because like we've been such like partners in the writing mm -hmm. over the years that I feel a little like sad or guilty. But then I, at the same time, it is okay, you know. So I've been like going through the process of like accept acceptance and. So maybe yes and maybe no. It's hard. That's a hard question. I think anytime you step away from something that you love, you learn about it. And you learn about the love you have for that thing. I still think about it all the time. I'm still doing it in my head, but like, mm -hmm. it's just okay. Like, it's not, I'm not worried that it's gonna like, the feeling is gonna go away. And if the feeling does go away, then it goes away. And I, you know, my biggest fear is like, I have so many ideas that I want to see through. Oh yeah. My biggest fear is I won't be able to see them all through. But that's just, I think that's just life. You don't, can't For do sure. everything. You just can't. Yeah. One of the many tragedies of being human and being alive, I guess. There will all, yeah. Always yeah, it doesn't matter if you're a parent or not. Yeah. yeah. It's just how it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And meanwhile, Mona has made your life better. For sure. Oh, yeah. It's the sweetest joy. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Totally. And, you know, maybe our children will be more talented and better at everything than we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they'll be like, hell no, I'm not going to be an artist. That looks miserable. Mm so cute in all these photos. <laughs> oh. What are we still doing now? Oh, she was so oh. good dying. She went down for like 10 minutes and then 
right back up. Not having so it. So she's been chilling, but she's been a little fussy. The Not whole time? It? What? Yeah. You didn't try and put her back down no. again? <laughs> I tried. She wouldn't go. She'll sleep good tonight, though. She doesn't. Yeah, it's my fault. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to be there? Can I pee the You Sleepy for me? Do you have a wild night with your Uncle Jesse? Bye, Uncle Jesse. See you in the morning. seem very sleepy. Like our siblings, like Brie is so good at singing, right? Mom mm -hmm. is so good at singing. I guess mom kind of tried to do a career with it, like mm -hmm. a little bit, but like she was more so like dabbling. I feel like we were always still like the focus, like the family and the faith were always still the focus. Mm -hmm. But like nobody's really tried to take it anywhere like financially. Yeah. Like, I didn't have any model for what, you know, being an artist of any sort was like once you get out of, like, high school. Mm -hmm. It was either, like, you were a kid doing art or it's like you were this, like, famous person. There was no, yeah. like, in-between. Now, I, I've, yeah. you know, I've met so many other people. And, I've, like, our kid, like, if she ever wants to get into dance or music or mm. photo or film yeah. or, like, or even, you know, like, some other form of visual art, whatever it is, I think we... We at least have some idea of how to help encourage or like help her figure out what the possibilities are and mm. directions she can go and how to to live doing that. Yeah. Two carne asada tacos and two al pastor and then one sangria. Thank you, that's it. Um, come in. Hey. hey. Cool car coming? Yeah, no, please. Um, Should I wave the door open? Yeah, totally. I, I'm sorry, I didn't even realize I was painting this long. Yeah, okay. I lost track of time.
in my gut, I don't feel comfortable with doing any of that kind of stuff until like I get done with some school. You know what I'm saying? Until, or at least maybe until I get find out why I'm going to med school or like something like that. The fact that you're thinking about it though, like you're 24 years old. <laughs> like sometimes I'm like, I think it's uh, so interesting. Like I don't often yeah. like, I mean, it's, I don't often date guys younger than me. Mm -hmm. And so it's like interesting just to hear you talk about like these things you're already planning out mm -hmm. in your life. I mean, yeah, they say I'm a uh, old soul. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what do you think about this? <laughs> what do you think about that? Um, Family, kids. I, what do I just think about it? I mean, I don't know. I feel like, like you've you thought about it more yourself? than I have. Well, then, I, hey, then, like, let's try it. Um, there's just like this expectation or this, um, it feels old school, but also like still very current that like I should want to have a child like at this mm. point in my life. Yeah. And I'm like, but I'm doing all these other things. <laughs> like, like how is this, you know, why does it feel like there's maybe some type of lack by other people? Like when right. that's like not true at all. And like, I often, this is maybe kind of silly, but like I often refer to like a big exhibition or like project that I'm working on as like, I'm birthing mm. this thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or like I'm pregnant with this idea. Idea, exactly. Yeah. Because it feels like that important to me. Mm. But I don't know, it doesn't seem like everybody else is like really on board with that. I mean, I feel like you probably don't have, you don't feel probably any kind of pressure. Um, no, but I think that I would eventually. Like, I think I'd recognize yeah. that. Like if I was like 30 or something, like I de definitely think my mom, I think it'd be more so from like my mom than anything. Or like you're saying, like that pressure from your friends about you get older and more and more people have kids, more people in this certain type of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. They kind of expect you to also mold to that. I do wish that, you know, I could just be around other people's kids and like that's not a question that always comes up. Like, oh, when are you going to get one of these? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like that you could just be. Right. Maybe eventually they'll just stop asking because they can, you're, they you're showing them. Because lost cause. <laughs> I mean, maybe in a way, maybe like that's in a way, but it's more so like they just see that your path is not that. Like, there's a lot of like. Also, also or really... maybe it will be later on. Like, yeah, why, true. what's the rush? True. Right? Yeah when I do try to like let my mind go there, I just don't feel like I actually, I can't figure out where a child would fit time-wise when mm. I don't even have time for myself, mm -hmm. you know? Like I tried so many different things when I was a child, different musical instruments, mm -hmm. sports, uh, arts classes. Yeah. I was a dancer. It was like, yeah. and like anytime Same. I was interested in something, they were like, let's do it. Yeah. Try they had it out. question. Yeah. yeah. Go down that way. See if you like it. Or right. Not. But like, think about when you look back at it, like that's like an incredible amount of intentionality and time. Oh, time. Yeah. Oh my God. Right. Like to driving like, places. Yeah. To be like that in tune with your kid. Yeah. And like, I wonder sometimes like, yeah. Did they miss out on, did they miss out on anything? You know, Dang, in like the 20 wow. years that they yeah. were doing all that chauffeuring and... Right. Like my parents paid for me to go to like some dumb expensive school so I could play lacrosse. Like they like supported that, though they don't know to this day the rules of lacrosse. They don't know when they come to a game. But They're they just knew that you cared happy for me. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow, that's a privilege. Like, very privileged. Yeah. Very privileged. Wow. Like, yeah. And even though, like, people in Minnesota don't really play lacrosse, or it's a new thing, there's a lot more people now than when I was isn't growing up. Isn't it, like, a native sport, though? Like, isn't yeah, it? So yeah. I was going to say, it's probably been around for a while, but for maybe, like, popularity-wise, like... Popularity, like, white people, yeah. and there's, like, prep schools where it's, like, completely white-dominated. And that's actually part of the reason I left, because it was literally just, like, these white kids... And, you know, they'd say some really dumb stuff I'm that, sure. like, later I have to, like... People thought that you were white, probably, mm -hmm. and they were like, oh, I can I mean, say yeah. this in front of you. Right, right. And, like... Because I'm, like, red is white a lot, yeah. and, like, that's yeah. that's real. Like, I can't deny that at all, but... Right. Yeah. Which is another reason we probably, like, couldn't have kids, you know? Because if that little baby pops out white, that's the end of the story for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you are not wrong. I'll say that. That is definitely a fear, yeah.